So, it's currently flu season in Phuket and throughout Thailand, and today I'm gonna to give you some things that you can do to keep your immune system strong, so if you get sick, you get better quickly, and to try and avoid that sickness entirely. What is going on guys, it is Dylan the Machete, and we are gonna be going over things that you can do to protect your immune system in Thailand and keep your immune system strong, so you don't get sick, so, if you do get sick, you recover quickly. Obviously, some of these you can do throughout any, like wherever you are in the world, you'll be able to do these. A few of these, some of the products are only available in Thailand. A few of the things you can only really do in Thailand. So if you're fighting, if you're out here on a holiday and you get sick, got to make sure that you're on top of these things. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about, and this is just a general one in Thailand and just in general, stay clean. So always wash, always shower, keep those infections away. I'm going to keep saying it every time. Keep those infections away. Keep cleaning. If you have some, if you end up getting staff or you end up getting an infection, use that antibacterial soap. If you're not, use this soap right here or this body wash. This is probably the best thing for staff. You can get it at any or you can get it at most pharmacies. Just ask them for this and they'll sort you. Don't use it every day. Use it every second or third day because your body will get adapted to it if you're using it every day. So that's number one is just staying clean. Number two, we're talking about diet. So you gotta stay on top of your diet because what you put in your body, that's what your body's gonna run off. You gotta make sure that you're on top of your veggies, your fruits, all that type of stuff. You gotta keep those vitamins and minerals high. You can also go to 7-Eleven and get these vitamin C drinks. They're extremely good for you. They are very low in calories, extremely high in vitamin C. They're gonna be great for you in that aspect. You can also drink a lot of lemon water because lemon is extremely high in vitamin C. Honey and green tea is also great. And one thing that you can also get is essence of chicken. So it looks like this. You can either get them at 7-Eleven or if you go down to Macro or Lotus, you can get a big tub of them. Um, they're great for you if you're sick. They're basically like concentrated bone broth. So they're really good for your gut as well. So. That's just another thing that you can do if you're sick when training out here in Thailand. Three, sleep. So sleep is extremely critical in general for your immune system. It's gonna help your whole body function a lot better. Take naps if you need to. Get off your phone before bed at night time. Um, try to track your sleep if you can. Make sure that you're getting plenty of REM and deep sleep because that's when your body's gonna actually recover. Uh, I always wear my Garmin whenever I go to sleep and it actually tracks all my sleep. So I can go through the days and be like, okay, I did this on one day. I didn't get as much REM sleep, okay. Now I need to change that, okay. I might have eaten too close to bed, okay. Now that's fucked up my deep sleep for the day. So finding little things that you can do to improve your REM and your deep sleep is gonna go a long way in the long run in keeping you from getting sick. Number four, vitamins. So vitamins are essential for keeping your immune system strong and your body optimized. And particularly the two vitamins that I stay on top of when I'm sick are vitamin C and iron. So this is an iron supplement that I take. It's got iron, um, iron and B vitamins in it. It's called Floridex, but I couldn't really find it in Thailand unless I ordered it on Lazada and I didn't want to wait. So I got this one from the pharmacy, which is pretty much the same thing. It's got iron and B vitamins in it. It's great for you. It's gonna keep your immune system strong. Vitamin D is also great. So I've got a few tablets left of vitamin D that I've also been smashing down. You can also go down to Co-Wit Clinic, which is just down the road from Bangtao Gym. Uh, you can get yourself a vitamin IV drip. So if you are sick or you're getting sick, you just pop that in there. It takes about 20, 30 minutes and they're just gonna pump you full of vitamins straight into your bloodstream and it's gonna be so good for you. And number five, we're talking about sun and seawater. So go down to the beach, have a swim, go out in the sun. The, once again, vitamin D in the sun is extremely good for you. Make sure that you're getting that sun on your chest because that's where you're going to absorb it the most. That's where it's going to really benefit your immune system. Uh, going in the water, having that, like just swimming in the salt water, it's going to clear your sinuses. It's going to make you feel a lot better. Your body's going to absorb the minerals like the magnesium, potassium, all that shit like that. <clears throat> it's just going to be great for you in general. So this is just a quick little video that I wanted to jump on here and do just run through. You can obviously probably tell by my voice that I have been a little bit sick the last few days. Um, and I've been doing all these things and I'm feeling way better now. Back to 100% training and I'm feeling good. So hope if you guys are coming to Phuket that you don't get sick, follow these tips and you won't get sick. Or if you do get sick, you'll recover a lot quicker from them. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.